Don't try to sneak into your room like that. I know what you've got behind your back. Records. More no records. Here we are, not the calm before the storm because the storm has already started. For those of you who have never been to this show, the queues were already starting an hour before things opened and you couldn't even buy tickets until noon. And here we are, the Gilded Press, and we have to line up. This is an interesting way to start the show. Here's Wilson speakers, uh, not Wilson uh, audio special, but some other Wilson speaker. Uh, there's going to be a lawsuit over this for sure, you can bet. That's how we're starting the show. Start on the Sonus Fabro. See what's going on. And reason to suspect. Dave Gordon, how are you? Good to see you in Warsaw. See you. Thank you. Smile a song. Thanks to you. demographic at this show.
Brinkman direct drive turntable. Yes, it is. So we presented it in Munich this year, but it hasn't been playing there. So it's uh, now first time playing in Poland. And uh, it's the heritage, uh, the chassis is the heritage from the Balance turntable. So it's a four centimeters thick chassis. The motor is uh, an improved version of the Bardo and Oasis uh, direct drive motor can be combined with our Rund tube power supply as well. And then as a little design uh, thing, uh, the remote is actually wireless, oh. so you can place it wherever you prefer oh, cool. to place it. And is it, is it Bluetooth? Is that what? Uh, this is infrared. Infrared, so yeah. it doesn't in interfere. No interference or, yeah, that's or anything. Important. Exactly. Okay, so down here you got you got the Brinkman uh, Phono preamp. Yes, that's the Mark II version of our Edison Phono preamp. What, what's different in the Mark II version? Uh, the Mark II version, the whole I RIAA network has been redesigned and also the tube output stage has been redesigned. Oh, so it's really it's a, new. A, a big, uh, uh, yeah, a big, a big uh, upgrade. And what's over here? And, and this is uh, our Nyquist Mark II, this um, DAC, uh, Streamer and DAC. Um, this one we presented a year ago in, uh, in, in Munich for the first time. So you've been very busy? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. what do you? Th what is this turntable going to sell for in America? In America, it's uh, fifteen um, thousand US, and there's an option without the tone arm, and there's an option to add a second tone arm base for three thousand uh, dollars. Okay. And so the table is fifteen thousand without the arm. Without the arm, yes. Okay. And it's called the Taurus, as you can see here. Taurus. Okay, Taurus. Yes. Noble. Okay. And do you know how much this amplifier is cost? Where do you go? This is Timo. You ran out on me. Sorry? <laughs> oh, I thought we were friends and you ran yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I wanted to oh, give right. you a space. So this is a brand new uh, integrated amplifier? Yeah, it's the one we launched in Munich this year. It's the new uh, integrated stereo 300B uh, tube amp. Fully balanced, of course, as a Engstrom amp. It's called Arne, after Arne Domnerus, a uh, famous Swedish just musician and um, well it's powerful and uh, uh, 20 watts per channel uh, just on 05 percent distortion so I would say uh, give or take one percent distortion is Go up. kind of uh, 35 yeah. or something yeah. like that so it's a uh, it's a powerful little machine and you're driving these uh, Devore audio speakers yeah. it sounds real good yeah they're, and they are like 91 dB and, and well, it's a really easy load for this room and this setup, so... Sounds good. Yeah. And, uh, what, what is it going to sell for? Uh, 30,000 euros, including VAT, so uh, I don't have the US price in my yeah. head right now. You'd be less though. Just yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. All right, great. Thank you. Great. Say... By the tree, and flames from your sun. So that's, that's the bardo. And wherever you and all this pain, cause I feel it more than never now. Where were you through all?
shot. In the headphone area. Very serious. Nie bądź długo, bo jesteś tutaj potrzebny. No co, ty daj jakiś porządny kabel. Ja już to porobiłem. <grym> porobiłem zęby. Chwila z dzwoni o kejgu. Siadę i pracuj, nie mamy się. Się przepracował? What a headphones. Sporo do Be, never be sure before I honor. Because his place is yeah. booked This path is a... Although when we landed, it was confusing. Because it's so foggy. I thought we were still in the clouds. And the next minute, it was... Yeah. How's it going, Michael? Good, how are you? New stuff. Yeah. DAC and AMP. And this is a Bluetooth uh, DAC. And I can also do digital output. Mm -hmm. There's also a, um, yeah. a funnel stage with this one coming too. Oh. Uh, do you know John Kale? How much? John Kale. Oh, Jack Crow des he designed this for you? He designed it with the toasting. So those two are uh, two peas in a pod. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, so they're working on a uh, funnel stage of this one. So John Curl designed the funnel stage with... with, with Torsten. Okay. Torsten. There's a prototype somewhere. We had it in uh, Kanja and Rocky this year. And it's got MQA. MQA, DSD256, um, 32 bit PCM. Uh, 384 kilohertz as well. And how do you connect it up to anything? There's the balanced output. This is balanced, yes, we have a 4.4. Um, I've got a cable here actually. Um, so, custom with the cable. Um, so, 
same th connection again as a 4.4 to XLR balanced. Right. And then customers can potentially try and do 4.4. Uh, sorry, yeah, um, four pin to dual three pin. Gets complicated. Well, they can do this one, or they can do merge this into this guy. I just have two yeah. for show, you know. Um, so is this got a phono preamp built into it? No, no, not no. this one. No, this yeah, is an, an, pure DAC okay, headphone. Okay. Okay. Um, Good. I was gonna say that. But the phono has a really tricked out system. You can actually connect it up and it'll detect the voltage of the cartridge and automatically adjust the settings. Really? So this that's John Curl and Torsten's idea. And where's that one? It's coming uh, probably January time. Oh okay. That sounds cool. Yeah. I'll be on board with that. Cool. And what like what does this cost? Uh, 150. 150 dollars. Really? Don't know how you do it. Hi, how are you? I'm good, are you? I'm good, very good. Okay, thank you, gotta keep moving along. And this is called the Zen? Zen, yeah. Okay. I don't know the source, but the amp is... It's amazing. I just to side of the stadium. We're on the west side west side of the stadium. We've covered the east side of the stadium. There's a lot more home theater here, a lot more A V than Hi Fi at the stadium. Are we gonna cover a man doing sit ups? Unit, paper cone. Let's see what's in the market. I'm just in a rebel room. 
buy the revenue, you buy the local quality, when you buy the JPL, you buy the quantity. Um, but easily, the JPL is the, is the better selling product because it's just so much fun to listen to. They're going for static display. There's the Mark Levinson VPI turntable. But they're not playing anything right now. Sonic aspect, plus it brushes and it vacuums. It does all of those things. I know that. Certainly can't do prices here. There's no point to it. and other show reports. This looks interesting. We've got the integration basic with an arm. Way higher. Hello there. Hey. How are you? Michael, good to see you. Okay, this is the new AVM PH 8.3 Phono stage. So okay. it's, a, it's a modular system where you can you can equip it with up to four modules connecting four tone arms or four turntables. The speciality is you can choose uh, the de-emphasis first from uh, DECA, there are six different ones. Okay. So all this analog. Mm -hmm. um, you can of course adjust load um, and all the other uh, things you may adjust, but without the change bar. So you don't have to get up from your chair and it does the changes in real time. And that's because most audio files are in such good physical condition, it's okay for them to just sit and do that. They don't yeah. have no need to get up and move. Yeah, exactly. Just remain in the chair. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So this is where uh, it explains. And is this ready to go? Ready? Yes. And how much is this going to cost, like in America? Uh, in America, I think it will be 9,900 euros. Uh, uh, dollars. Yeah. Sorry. And um, and then uh, the, the modules are about 1,500 each. Yeah. MM is a little bit less, it's maybe 1200, right? but the MC modules are this. You can see that from the other side. Maybe let me make you some room. Here they are. So you can choose balanced input or exactly. single ended, whatever you want. Whatever you want, whatever combination you like to uh, do, and up to four. So you can start with one and add more as you go. Exactly. That's very good. Mm -hmm. And it's self-configurating, so uh, just plug it in and it's plug and play. Right. And there's a tube, a tube in there? Yes. The tube is here. This is our little uh, AVM 803 tube with a very long anode. And what is that used for? Um, this one, what, what the modules do, they, they are the first amplification stage, and then uh, the next stage is the tube stage, and with the tube stage you see it glowing in here. Yeah. Um, with the tube stage we uh, add this, I would say, 
motion, which we all very uh, like very much. From the the match. So, yeah. so, so basically, it's a it's a hybrid solid state tube phono Exactly, that's the idea. Okay. But there's no, you can't have a small solid state one if you want it. You can have that. Oh, you can. Yes, uh, this is the uh, model version 6.3. Then the tube module is omitted, and you have a full transistor version. Oh, it's, a, it's a little bit less, also in the price. And let's say you, you start with the tube one, or you just want the solid state one. You can just pull it out, or is it exactly? You can. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You um, again pull it out, plug in the other uh, one. It will automatically recognize, okay, now I'm solid state, renames itself, um, reprograms the startup sequence, and then when you plug back in the tube stage, it will do the same procedure here. Yeah. there. That's great. Yeah, okay. So, this is the one thing what we have started. The other thing is, um, what's brand new for us is the speaker. That's an active speaker with room correction and everything. So, so you've got a full system going now. Yes, that's the idea. Yeah. And you can also equip this with a wireless connection. And it's got no drivers in it. That's the most incredible yeah. part about it. Look, there are no drivers in it. Yeah, so it makes speaker. the setup much easier. Yes. <laughs> Where are this? It's in the front? Yeah. yeah. It's coming around. Yeah. So this is, this is the amplifier part. And the amplifier part is made like this. This is the aluminum block where we start and then uh, at the end of the day it looks like this. It takes a whole day to do that? Um, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a couple of hours. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So this becomes the compartment for the, um, uh, for the amplifiers. We use this huge aluminum thing not only to stabilize or put it properly but also it is a heat sink on the other side. So here you see yep. uh, the entire block is the heat sink. And so it's this is how it looks. You, it's just, so that's a stand for the speaker. Is that exactly how it works? Yeah. And uh, the speaker itself, the passive part, and the uh, and the amplifier part are clearly separated. So they don't influence. We don't build the amplifiers into the housing. Right. So uh, all the electronics are built in in the plinth. And that's and a mono block. So you need two of those. Or um, of course you need a pair of speakers. But I mean right. that amplifier is a mono block amplifier. And so you have, you, you have one and the other speaker as well. Okay, that's the exact same thing. And what is that going to sell for? In Europe, we will sell it for. Here in Poland, it's a almost 80,000 slotty, which is equivalent to 20,000 euros. In the US, it will be something. It is it uh, is like 24,900. That, that's speaker and amp. Exactly. Pop, ready to ready to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pair is 25, just under 25,000 US dollars. And what's the, what kind of what class amplifier is in there? Um, these are class D amplifiers, four pieces, totaling to something like 17. Watts. Of course, um, we need this headroom uh, to do this, and uh, we send it with three presets for the room correction. When you set it in, up in the room, or close to a wall, or in the corner, or in a small room, right. and then you can also make custom adjustments. Um, we measure your room. And then we can compensate room effects. Uh, we program the speaker not only to com uh, compensate room effects, but also if you have several likings where you say, okay, give me a little bit more bass or whatever. And so at what resolution is all that happening? Digital um, resolution. Digital resolution. Uh, this is a professional uh, module uh, that we're using. It is uh, comparable to about 384 and 32 bits. Oh, okay. so, so it is a very, high very high resolution. resolution. And, and the input that goes is a balanced input, analog input that goes into it? Yeah, you can switch from analog input to ASEBU input. Okay. Um, so the, the analog input becomes a digital, a digital input. Uh, oh, very cool. And then the other one, the output, you can connect the other speaker uh, to it right away if you like to do it. Or the slot, which you saw in the back, you can also put a wireless module in there. Oh. So, and that is also a very good resolution. And what are the dri drivers? We had this, uh, these drivers made for us, so uh, none of them, uh, everything is proprietary. The base uh, woofers, we had a very long, uh, we had them designed uh, with very long throw, uh, linear uh, long throw. Mid-range is, this is where we're especially proud of, it's a paper cone. Um, 
but it has this um, substance, this energetic um, sound characteristics that we like so much. Twitter is uh, two inch or almost two inch um, soft dome. So how does it sound? Any good? I think so. I hope. We, we tried our best. You're not demonstrating it here, though. Right? No, we we, uh, we, have, we have the small room over there with the all-in-one systems yeah, yeah. and the Elac speakers um, because this is also what they distribute here, yeah. and they wanted to show a more affordable system. Sure, not a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Thank you, sir. Okay, so we met you at the show here. Yeah, in Warsaw. And I induced you to buy a turntable. Yeah, yeah. and we bought, bought a turntable, and we right now got like about 12 vinyls. Okay. And a couple of, well, most of them are the first pressings from 70s. Oh, so you're really fanatic about it. Not, not, not fanatic, yet fanatic, but slowly, you know, small steps. But just good, yeah. And you're yeah. enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, we no longer use Spotify, nor well, that's any. Good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We no longer listen to music. Uh, listen to music on the go. On, on the go. Just, like, just you know. Yeah. I mean, that's, on the go is good too because we're busy. Yeah. But it's a different. It's a different consumption model. One is yeah. you're busy doing something else while you're listening, yeah. Yeah. and the other is you're just listening. With tea, with wine. Yeah. You just sit and down and you have. Some and the thing you and the thing you said that you remember all the vinyls, all the when context bought when you bought them. Yes. Yeah. Wait till you have twelve thousand records, yeah. and you'll still. Remember remember every single one and where you bought them and what you were doing. Yeah, right. If your tour is still together. Oh, I didn't mean that. Oh. <laughs> 18, 18 years. It's a good... Oh, good then you're start. good. Yeah, it's a good start. It's good, great. So, yet again, thank you very much. You're welcome. Your video. You, you changed our... Great, that's, I love hearing it. It keeps me going. It keeps me doing this. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Prices are so different here, there's no point even getting into prices, so we walk. Some of these are really torrents in name only. These are very familiar looking designs. We know where they're made. Retro 50s cabinet. Yeah, I'm taking care of the... Yeah, 
Yeah, this, this AT95 series is from Audio Technica. These are really, really good, inexpensive cartridges. Show you some headphones quickly. Gaming headphones. w jakimś stopniu konstruują urządzenie, te stopki też spełniają rolę aerozolatorów. Że, no cóż, producenci nie są specjalistami od proakustyki. To jest błąd, bo wtedy podkładając podkładki pod stopki, my po prostu ten układ wibroizolacyjny przestrajamy i on nie spełnia swojej roli. Dobierając układy wibroizolujące w odpowiedni sposób obciążony. Zmienimy płytę. Niagara 5000. Tak. Często pokutuje takie, taka opinia, że urządzenia tego typu, szczególnie japońskie, no, spotkałem się z takimi opiniami na się rynku, to jest absolutnie nieprawda. Wybrałem tutaj taki utwór, który jest bardzo zróżnicowany. What happened to liberty and the bridges we almost got done? What happened to that? Was going to take us home? What happened to liberty?
appetite. Amplifiers. And a Brinkman. I think this is a. This is the a Bardo or the new one? Oh, Taurus, the Taurus. With an Opus airtight cartridge. You couldn't know. And a tenor. I guess tenor's back. Phono preamp. And a tenor preamp. Combination works great. Where are the people, where are the people looking for? Records. People looking for records. And there is the person looking for a CD. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> Sorry, but it's funny. show you all the Macintosh stuff, right? As long as they're all in and the room. And you can afford the best. He's got a gift of us. I need to know what's happening. I'm not making a record. And I need, you know, when I'm just sitting back relaxing and enjoying music or a movie or something like that, I want it to be good. And there's really not much competition with this on this level. Macintosh is the best stuff there is and that's what I get. Uh, it's the Grand Prix. Micro Grand Prix, okay. Yeah, it is. I think it's. Uh, I think it's the first time ever they played here. Really? Uh, yeah. So it's a pretty new one. Okay. And you, have, um, you have a Soundsmith uh, cartridge in there. Yes, it is. It is. It is. And this arm. This is a uh, Alan Perkins. So this is a, an Amedia arm. It's like. I've never seen that one, but that's what it is. Yep. Okay. I've seen it on his turntable. I've never seen it on anybody else's turntable. That's cool. Okay. And it works very well with it. I'm sure it yeah. does. Yeah. Okay, then we And then we're using the Le Leganto Legacy from Griffin, the preamp, our, our phone stage. Right. Which is a two box solution. So it comes with an external power supply. It's over here. Okay. You can see it over here. And then the Pandora preamp. The Pandora preamp is also a two-box unit with outside a power supply, but in this case we're actually using the same power supply both for the Legato and for the Pandora. It'll handle two. It'll, It'll handle, handle two. two. Right. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. And then of course we have the new Ethos CD player and DA converter. Um, launched Munich last year. And you can put or a USB year. stick in that. Little, you, oh, I'll bring a USB stick tomorrow. Yeah. You'll yeah. enjoy hearing. Yeah. Um, and the amps? That's the Mephisto 
solo monoblocks. So it's 200 watts pure class A, almost 1 million microfarad power capacity. It is the biggest power amps we do at Griffin. Um, speakers, the flagship speaker from Griffin, uh, the Kodo system, semi-active system. So the base towers, they have a 1000 watt class AB Griffin amplifier in the back, only designed to drive the base drivers. The passive power uh, tower here is mid-range tweeter and is run by the Mephistos. Uh, around 95, 96 dB efficiency. Oh. So you can run so it. You don't need that. No. <laughs> but a big amp creates That's a lot of, head, of headroom, you know. So, uh, and the cool thing with the Kodo is that, and it's the same with all our semi-active speakers, that you can adjust the bass level plus minus 12 dB. Right. So it's very, very easy to adjust to a room. And you just have your remote control, and then you adjust it. You have three different Q settings. You have low cut filter as well. Um, so in many cases, a system like this, even though it seems gi gigantic, it's, it's actually easy to integrate into a, a tiny room. And so uh, what is the approximate total cost of what we listen to? Um, 260,000 euros plus VAT for the speakers. The speakers okay. uh, 90,000 euros for the pair of Mephistos. Okay. The uh, CD pair is 28.8. All prices without a VAT, yeah. of course. Uh, Preamp is approximately 20, uh, it's 18. Okay. Uh, no, it's 24, sorry, 24. Okay. And the Legato Legacy is around 18. And I can't tell you how much the, the Grand Prix is. Right, that's okay, we know that. And the cartridge in there, is, it's a SoundSmith, do you know which one it is? Uh, See, it's small, so you don't, so you don't pay attention to it. But yeah, it's, it's key, it's critical. Oh, it's a, it's a power, a PAUA. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. All right. Yeah. So the whole thing costs around how much with with the cables and everything? It's half a million. Half, half. That's all. Yeah. Half a million. Okay. That's okay. Approximate. <laughs> okay. Right. All right. Something like that. Thank you. Marvelous. Well, there's nothing new here because we showed all this stuff last week at uh, the Ascot show. Well, let's just go through it again. Signature 10. No, This is coming up.
knowledgeable nasty expert in the game.
small speakers. Some of them are probably great and some of them not. But how do you know? How do you know in a demo like this? It's impossible. Sit this is audio. Don't know. <laughs> Albo, albo masz wejście może ten, może masz wejście... Dedykowany programowy. nice cartridge. I got the review of that coming. 
Sunday and yet it's still it's very very crowded here
Thank uh-huh. you. 